This is the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 Arise shine for thy light is come And the glory of, of the Lord is risen upon thee For behold the darkness shall cover the earth And gross darkness the people But the Lord shall arise upon thee And his glory shall be seen upon thee I want to give all praise down and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world in really calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world in really calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside them. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit, the Rakakwadash, and Shalom to the elect, whom the most I have given ears to hear. Alright, the title of this lesson is going to be with Salakia moving around a lot, I had to uh grab my um Salakia one second, let me do something too. I had to grab my garment because I wanted to show my face. Let me see how this works. Uh, oh no, I think that just took the picture. All right, here we go. Yeah, I wanted to show my face. So the title of this lesson is gonna be um. What did I title it? Esau won't see without the prophets. All right. And um, going by way of through the spirit, I've seen um, just you know, you know, sometimes you be bored watching TikToks, and well, I was watching another brother's uh, you know, video. And he had did a he had kind of did a video on a TikTok to where. This guy was breaking down his uh, a prophetic dream he had. But I always noticed that. Well, I didn't read the, the comment board, but I always noticed that they never bring out any scriptures. Because they don't really like even though they know it's a dream, obviously they, they had a dream, but they can't solidify it with scriptures. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimi Hawa Shai, he actually gave us that um that attribute. As far as being able to understand the scriptures and be able to solidify it with scriptures. And not only them, but the scriptures say in the book of, um, I think it's Joel 2. It's also one of Acts 2. But they both basically say the same thing. Joel 2 and 27. It says, 2 and 28. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. Right? So Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai um, is going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. In the last days, we, you know, many shall dream dreams. However, you know, the most high given it to us to understand what we're actually uh, uh, dreaming, you know. And I, as I said, we believe it because we can solidify it through the scriptures, right? So everybody else won't, they'll see it, but they won't have the proper understanding, you know. They may see it and may not have proper understanding or it may be just a super vivid dream to where, like I said, they can um, break it down, right? And that's where we come in, Matthews 5 and 12, right? Because at the end of the day, all will fear, all will praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? And the men that are giving them knowledge, you know, we're coming in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're saying the things that they're dreaming about. Who else is saying the things, you know, who else is saying, like one, one of them was saying how... Uh, one guy, a few of them actually said they had a dream to where Russia would invade America. And we always bring that out in Ezekiel 37 and I want to say the 10th verse. Where it speaks about how God can make God, which is uh, Russia. Alright. Uh, their mind, they should have a mind to come up against the land of unwalled villages, which is America. Alright. So this is Matthew 5. Verse 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and they give it light unto all that are in the house. 
you know. So Yahweh Shemya was shy, told us to go out on the highways and hedges in the chief place of concourse. All right. So that's the most high spiritually putting us on the, the, the hill of the city, you know, at the top of the city. We'll all come, you know, shop, uh, go to and fro. You got to pass this part of the city. The scriptures say in, um, in the ancient time, you know, how wisdom we used to cry within the gate. And when you go into the gate, the gate was a place to where, first of all, that was that was the first place you would enter prior into getting into the city. You know? So you couldn't get into the city without seeing the prophets, all right, or judgment happening. Okay? It says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your God, your, your Father, which is in heaven. And that's what's going to happen. Best believe what we say and what the people dream goes hand in hand. All right. And um, to prove that, we can get a, a an excerpt in the scriptures, right, where, you know, Nebuchadnezzar had a dream and his soothsayers couldn't interpret this dream. Only the prophets could interpret the dream. And this is only one of many stories. All right. Joseph interpreted the dream of uh, uh, Pharaoh. It says the Chaldeans answered Daniel 2 and 10. The child uh, 2 and 9. But if you would not make known to me unto me the dream, there is but one decree. For you, for ye have prepared lying and corrupt words to speak before me till the time be changed. Therefore, tell me the dream. And I shall know that ye can shew me the interpretation thereof. And this goes to show you that all the time, you know, these soothsayers came through for him. But this time, this prophetic, this time of prof prophecy, all right, which that dream that um, Nebuchadnezzar had was a dream of prophecy, you know, as far as the what's going is going into the um, you know, the different kingdoms rising and falling, they couldn't understand it, right? That was given unto the Lord. That was given to the prophets of the Lord. <laughs> Obviously, the Lord, the Lord sent the dream, but the prophets of the Lord was it was given unto them to bring it out to interpret it. This is the Chaldeans answered before the king and said, There is not a man upon the earth that can shew the king's matter. Where therefore there was no king, Lord, nor ruler that asked such thing at any at any magician or astrologer or Chaldean. And it is rare, and it, and it is a rare thing that the king requireth. And there is none other that can shew it before the king except the gods whose dwelling is not with flesh. For this cause the king was angry and very furious and commanded to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. And the decree went forth that the wise men should be slain. And they saw Daniel and his fellows to be slain, also being known as wise men. And then you answered with counsel and with wisdom to Ariok, the captain of the king's guards, which is going forth to slay the men of Babylon. He answered and said to Ariok, the king's captain, why is the decree so hasty from the king? Then Ariok made the king, made the thing known to Daniel. Then Daniel went in and desired of the king that he would give him time and that he would show the king the interpretation. Then Daniel went to his house made the thing known to Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, his companions, that they would desire mercies of God of heaven concerning this secret, that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then was the secret revealed, revealed unto Daniel in a night vision, and Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removes the kings and set up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light to dwell with him. You see? So through the spirit, that's why we want to stay close to this word. We want to stay close to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? Knowing that that's who he's dealing with. He's dealing with light, you know?
I thank thee and praise thee, O thou God of my fathers, who have given me wisdom and might, and has known unto me now what we desire of thee. For thou has now made known unto us the king's matters. Right? So, hey man, we in a blessed position. Even though we catching hell, we in a blessed position, man. Let's go to, um... Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, verse 16. And hardly do we guess the right at things that are upon the earth, and with labor do we find the things that are before us. And this is all men upon earth. Esau, Edom, the, 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 the wise men of Teman. All right? There's a lot of things on earth. They, the scriptures say, if you could... uh. Search out the depths of the sea. Then I will do away with Israel, basically. It's a lot of things Esau don't know about, man. On this, just the, the, the carnal playing field. Right? The wisest of the wise. All right? So it's counsel, spiritual uh, 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 dreams. How can you understand? And with labor do we find the things that are before us, but the things that are in heaven who have searched out. And the scriptures say, what's that in, um, I think it's John 3 and 11, 3 and 12. If I have told you earthly things and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? They won't, right? Even though it's told of them constantly by different men, diff different men of different walks of life. All right. So it says in different languages. All right. Hey, the Lord has to open up your ears. And with labor do we find the things that are before us. The scriptures say in um, what's that, Isaiah 26. Let mercy be sown to the uh, wicked. Let we, yet will he not learn righteousness. Except thou give wisdom. It's like it. But the things which are the things that are in heaven who have searched out. And thy counsel who have known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. You know, and as I think, as I read, I think of, um, who is it? The story of, um, when the Most High sent the lying spirit upon the prophets of, uh, Ahab because the Lord wanted to kill him. And it was one prophet that actually told the truth. However, the Most High basically had, and, and, and it's spiritual because when you go into that story, the Most High put it on that prophet of the Lord to speak of the things in heaven. How the Lord sent down a lying spirit upon his prophets, you know. But hey, if the Lord don't give you the is, the Lord don't give you the is. That's why I always start off with saying, um, you know, shalom to the elect whom the Most High have give, given is to hear. That's what we do these things for, man. Because you could always say, prove it, prove it, prove it, you know. But the, the, the elect shall have faith. That's a gift from the Heavenly Father. And thy counsel who have known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. For so the ways of them which live on the earth were reformed. And men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee and were saved through wisdom. Right? So through the faith that the Lord gave us, he allows us to cleave unto his wisdom. All right, his knowledge and wisdom, which shall be the stability of the times. These times now, again, going into how the Lord has given men dreams and in the times to come as prophecies continue to unfold, as we see of the MOTB. All right. And then on to this devil fallen, the kingdom of heaven, him going into slavery, him being burnt off after a thousand years. You see. So, hey, man, with that, Lord willing, you, I can edify. You see. uh I think there was another one I wanted to bring out. Yeah, I'll bring this out. Um, the point was made, you know. I ain't really got to bring it out, you know. With that, Shalom to the elect.